mercifully the first half has come to an end we have a blowout on our hands here today Larry is coming up with some very one-sided highlights the second half kickoff is a comeback in the cards in this one-sided affair The Ravens defense heads onto the field here to start the second half, looking for another stop and once again to get the ball back to their offense as they're leading in this one here early third, Phil. I like what they did in the first half. The defense goes in here at halftime. They get a little rest, so come out here and show that energy and take advantage of the situation and make some plays. The Ravens defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Loss of a couple that time. Phillip Rivers from the shotgun. Incomplete. Sometimes on third long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys that they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. Third and 12 to go. Wants to go deep. We're not too far in the third quarter, Phil, but I can't see this defense today yielding a lot of points in the second half. They've been sensational. No, oh, the defense is doing it all. You are right, Jim. And then, hey, look, they're telling their offense, look, if you guys don't blow it and make some big turnovers, there's no way we're going to lose this game here today. Williams there that time for the tackle. Well, the best thing we can say about that punt return, well, he didn't fumble the football. The Ravens have a lot of bounce in their step as they retake the field here. They've scored on three straight drives and built up a very nice lead for themselves. Yeah, confidence is a great thing. And when you have confidence, you can go out there and you can get it done. And that's what we see. They're excited. No matter who takes the field for the football team, you can see the excitement all the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. The Chargers ready to return the kick. It'll be a touchback. The Chargers have gone from bad to worse after an ugly first half. There's nothing here to shine in the second half either. Have, have you ever had a situation like this where it's just really gone all against you? Nothing goes right and you just were absolutely awful. Every week I work with you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bingo. Man, you smashed that one out of the park. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. The Chargers take it from the 23. Reaches up to make the catch. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. Third down now. The Ravens defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Here's the handoff. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. And the defensive intensity continues out of the half. They'll look to put this game even further out of reach. Man, when everything is going your way on the defensive side, that's what you do. You just play with more enthusiasm. You're faster. You feel good. You have confidence in everything you're doing. And it's been great here so far today. That's a gain of six. The Ravens are looking to inflict a little more punishment here as they try to add onto a sizable third quarter lead. Man, they are playing so well, Jim. I'm glad. I, hey, how would you like to be the defensive coach? It doesn't matter what you call. It's not going to work because the offense is that sharp. Going to take it the distance. The 10 touchdown. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. The Ravens ready to kick it away.
That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Ravens have been just as good here in the third quarter as they were in the first half, Phil. They are. They are so aggressive. My gosh, they haven't slowed down. And this coordinator, he goes, man, I, my guys are hot. So he's calling blitzes, and they are making it happen. First down at the 20. Upshaw's there to take him down. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And here we have second down. They'll go draw. Then picks up about three. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. The Chargers have it at the 29. Outside now on the toss. And this fires the football team up. The defense third and short. They stop the run, keeps the offense short of the first down, and look at the excitement on the defensive side. It'll be interesting to see after that fumble by the kick return team. Will we still have the same returner when they come back out of the field? I don't think so. That was a big mistake. I think they need a replacement. A lot of things have to go wrong in any game for it to be this one-sided. But you look at the matchup at running back, and it's certainly just one more thing that stands out. Yeah, when you run the football well, we all know you control the tempo of the game. And also, you get in all the situations that favor your offense and your defense. That's why they're blowing the other team out. Two consecutive weeks, we've seen a running game that's delivered the goods for this offense. This offense so determined to run the football. The coaches show great presence. And listen, the design is awesome, and the running back is really good, too. Shruts off the first hit. And here's a stat line that comes as a surprise to no one, Phil. This running back getting it done once again on the ground. No surprise, that is right. Listen, this team practices the running game. They are tough. That's why they get it done week in and week out. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. He just shows no signs of slowing down, does he, Jim? He's a top rusher in the NFL so far this year. And once again today, he is making it happen. Beautiful run for big yards. First down and 10. Takes another handoff. Got a big lane. A foot race. To for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. This great season has continued for him today as he's zeroing in on the record for rush TDs in a single season. Oh, I like his chances, don't you? I mean, what is going to slow this offense down? What is going to slow this running back down? I do not see anybody stopping him, and he is going to make history, in my opinion, and get the rush TDs for a season. touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Chargers have failed to come away with points on three consecutive drives. Their offense takes the field again now. What's caused them to go silent here, partner? Listen, let's give all the credit to the defense. They're being very creative on the defensive side. The coach is calling the right plays, and they are just taking it to the offense right now. The more aggressive team is winning, and that's the defense. Nothing really seems to be going right for this guy lately, Phil. He struggled to run the football last week, and he continues the same today. Yeah, it's all of the above, Jim. And what I mean by that, it's the running back's fault. It's the offensive line's fault. And let's give a little credit to the defense. Courtney Upshaw brings the quarterback down. The fourth quarter about to begin, and this game is well in hand. It sure is. It's been a, just a total dominant performance. A blowout, whatever you want to say. And I give the team a lot of credit. They played well. They had a tremendous game plan on the other side. It's only one game. Go back, start all over again, and this time next week, you could be the team that's on top. And in for the touchdown. 
they're still showing some spirit here, chipping away at that once gigantic deficit. Yeah, you know what they're doing? They're just showing professional pride. That's what they're doing out there, Jim. And that's the way you're supposed to play the game. Forget the score, play hard, and just do the best you can. The Ravens' return team is ready. The Ravens can make it four successful scoring drives in a row if they're able to put points on the board here. Offensively, they're looking like a juggernaut at the moment, Phil. Everything they do, Jim, is working. So when you've got it going like this on the offensive side, you know, just, just, he's in the clear. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. It's been a special season and a special moment right there as he's tied the mark for rush TDs in a single season. Man, what a, it's a, it's a record you thought was unapproachable and here they are they've tied that record for rush TDs in the season Jim I like their chances of breaking it but who cares about that right now let's just say congratulations it is a great job done he'll have a chance to take off just across the 20 and tackled at the 21 The Ravens allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. They've got to change up this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. And that pass is just thrown away. Second down here. The Ravens come out in a dime package. Rivers out of the gun. And it's thrown over to Stevie Johnson. Jim, here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw, he gets a completion. Good job. Rivers is back in shotgun formation. The Chargers get a first down. They have struggled on third down, but not on that occasion. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Incomplete. The hit jarred the ball loose. Floyd's really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. Brandon falls on the ground. Running room. No one's going to get him now. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. That's the way they're taught, to be greedy. Don't be satisfied with just getting the turnover. Take it all the way back to the house for the score. Makes the PAT. The Ravens setting up here for the kickoff. Fields the football at the three. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Chargers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim. But you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive. Ball is out. Has it in stride and he's pumped for the touchdown. Anytime you 